welcome back to another professional prep video. In this video, I'm going to tell everyone about how to specifically avoid aliasing issues, and more specifically as they relate to encapsulation, um, that part of object-oriented programming. So just as a quick review, aliasing happens when two objects both reference the same um, memory, lo logical address. And what hap let me show you what that means. So say we have, this is our familiar card class. Say that we have a car Toyota equals new car 2012, and we make a car Subaru that equals Toyota. Um, so notice the lack of the new operator when declaring Subaru. That's how we cause aliasing issues. Um, and now when we change the v value of Subaru or Toyota, it'll change the value of the other one. So say we change the value of Subaru, it changes the value of Toyota and vice versa. And um, if you want to see an example of that, go to our how to properly compare reference types video. Um, that, that shows you an example of that. But for now, let's just do a quick review since it's so important of how to avoid aliasing. So I'm going to tell you one huge thing. Always use this new operator um, when making another object. The new operator is huge because it allots new memory space for that object. Always make sure you have that new operator while declaring an object, which we lack here. And that's what runs us into aliasing issues. And just to show you an example of aliasing in general, say that we print out the memory addresses of Toyota and Subaru. These are the values of the physical addresses um, pointing to the logical addresses. We run it and, oh my bad, capital Y, I meant the lowercase y. We run it and, oh, uh, yeah, we redefined our two string method up here. Um, if you remember from a prior video, so I'm going to use a multi-line comment here and get rid of that two-string method so we can actually see our memory addresses here. And sure enough, here you see two equivalent memory addresses or physical addresses, and thus they point to the same, thus they point to the same logical address. So don't make that mistake. Always use this new operator to avoid aliasing issues. That's what you should remember for how to avoid aliasing. And you'll notice if we change car Subaru equals new car and give it, it's the same year. But um, the, the only difference here is that we use the new operator and we print it. Now we avoid aliasing. These have two different memory addresses. We have avoided aliasing. So just please keep in mind, in order to avoid aliasing, Always use this new operator. That's a huge keyword um, to give a new memory address and a new physical and logical address for that object. So that's all I have for you for this video. This was a quick video, but it was a very important video. Always avoid these aliasing issues. They can completely break your code and cause so many bad logic errors, such as changing both variables when you only meant to change or changing the values of two objects when you only meant to change one but that is all i have for you for this video please remember to subscribe to our channel and please feel free to email us if you have any questions check out our website let us know if you have any questions thank you so much everyone have a good day i'll see you next time